Fees, Interior PS uh, and Interior PS who are today grilled by the Parliamentary Special Funds Account Committee to explain discrepancies in the financial year report 2020-2021 and 2021-2022. Now the committee further questioned the two on the progress of the compensation of the post-election violence victims. Stanley Lugaria was in attendance and now gives us the following report. The Principal Secretary Interior National Administration Raymond Omolo and the Auditor General's Office appeared before the National Assembly Special Funds Account Committee chaired by Migori MP Fatuma Zainab Mohamed on Tuesday to examine the Auditor General report on the humanitarian fund for the financial years 2020 to 2022. Did you have a look at the bank statement that these monies came from to pay these beneficiaries before you cleared it? The committee poked holes into the Nancy Gadungu office of how he did not realize errors in the financial year's report in question of millions of shillings, amounting to over 272 million shillings, even after realizing that the committee in charge contract expired. The composition and functions of the committee and secretariat, there was no evidence in form of minutes to indicate that the committee deliberated on the matters of the fund and directed its administration in the year under the audit and provided for under the act further no evidence was provided of an active secretariat as provided for in the enabling act consequently the adequacy and effectiveness of it, all otherwise of risk management and oversight over the fund could not be confirmed the peers has been asked by the committee to appear in the next seven days to brief the committee on the progress of the compensation of 2007 post-election violence victims somebody really suffered in 2007 and you come in an office even if you don't know what really happened, but you still see the gaps, you've been given authority. At least by now we should be talking of, I did, I did, and I have, I'm stuck here. As well as reconstitution of the committee in charge whose term was never renewed after its expiry in 2017. Chair, the PS has uh, already said within seven days, he'll give us a letter, the one he has written to the executive, whether to disband this fund, or to continue. So we request you that all the bank balances you've stated here on a black and white paper, kindly get them certified and attach them to the other documents we asked for in the seven days period that you'll be providing other documents. Thank you, Chair. Maybe just to draw your attention, I think uh, because these are copies, it might not be very visible. But if you look at uh, the certificate of bank balances, particularly from National Bank, uh, we start with Annex 2, there, is, uh, there are signatures in terms of uh, the authorized uh, signatories, but then there is a accompanying statement which is uh, stamped and signed. But yes, uh, we can provide uh, uh, additional information as you direct. Yes, please. Yes. Stanley Lugaria, look up TV. Nairobi. All right, we do want to.